a difference between the Buddhist and me. Is there God was born a sinful man? Mine was holy ghost. Now, brother, let me tell you what settles it all when you go to the Let's go ahead and pray. 
Dear Jesus, thank you for today, Lord. Thank you for everything you've given us, Lord. Uh, thank you for this church, Lord. Thank you for kids, Lord, who want to do something for you, Lord. Thank you for the old men, Lord, who taught us, Lord, and taught us right. Just please bless the service, Lord. Jesus, name I pray. Amen. Amen. So, the first thing, the verse that caught my attention was verse 14. And when he had spent all, there arose a mighty famine in the land, and he began to be in one. So I'm going to preach on it for a few minutes tonight. Is some things the son missed out in the far country. So the first thing that caught my attention that he missed was he missed the food. In verse 17, he said, when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants in my fathers have bread enough to spare? And I perish with hunger. Kids, there ain't no bread for you out in the world. As many people can test, there ain't nothing for us out in this world. It's just nothing but vain, vain filler. That's all it is. Nothing but it's substantial. But the bread is right here. We have the bread of life. We have the bread of life that we can give to other people. And it fills us. Yeah. And it's a good feeling. <laughs> um, the, I'm sure whenever he, Manila, I'm sure the first thing that Elfie missed whenever he went out to the army is he missed mom's cooking. Yeah. That's the first thing anyone yeah. that moves out, they'll tell you. They miss the cooking. They miss the good home-cooked meals. So, and not only that, that's the first thing he said. Man, my fathers have bread, my father's hired servants have bread enough. Yeah. And so he said, man, not even his sons, his hired servants, his health, they have bread enough. Yeah. And I sit here and perish with hunger. So, I mean, that's the first thing you miss whenever you're out in the world. So the second thing I saw that he missed was he missed the father. In verse 18, he said, I'll rise and go to my father. Yeah. Whenever you're out in this world, um, away from God the Father, and no fellowship, no none of that, yeah. you begin to miss him. Especially when he cuts off the blessings and the yeah. bread. Boy, you get to miss him, and man, yeah. especially when you're down in the hog pen, oh, yeah, you get to missing him. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you got to come to yourself, though. That's the yeah. thing. you got to yeah. come to yourself and say, man, oh, yeah, I, I'm in the hog pen, man. My father, I'm sure, Brother uh, LP, I'll go back to him. That's one of the first things he missed. You know, after he left and went off to the army, man, I missed the cooking, and I missed my parents. And I can attest to that, you know, moving out on your own, you know, this is something you naturally miss when you right. move out. Yeah. Is you miss the cooking and you miss mom and dad. Right. So, but what I also found is the father, he didn't go with the son, but he was watching. He was yeah. waiting for him to come back. Yeah. Just like if you get out in this old world, the father, he won't go with you into the world, but he'll be watching. He'll be waiting for you to come yeah. back. Right. He'll be waiting. Um, me and dad, you know, we had uh, this discussion, you know, kind of, and man, I bet you if he did, if he could, he left that porch light on every night. Because uh, whenever we was waiting for company down at the house, you know, we would leave the porch on, you know, at night. Yeah. So I bet you that father, he left the porch light on at night. Yeah. He sat up there every evening just waiting, yeah. watching the road, waiting for his son to come home. Yeah. 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 And then he said, he ran, he found a kiss on his neck. He was yeah. waiting for him. Yeah. But the son didn't know that. No. The son didn't know that. He had no idea that dad was waiting for him all the days. There's been a lot of people come out of this church and... A lot of kids, you know, who get out, and uh, sadly, some of the parents, you know, they pass away before they come back. But um, sometimes mother's prayers answered after they pass away, and they didn't realize all the years that hey, your mom been looking for you, watching for you. Yeah. So, but then that's one of the things the son misses the phone. Right. The next thing I saw that he missed was he missed the fellowship. Yeah. In verse 19, he said, "I'm no more worthy to be called thy son." Making as one of thy hired servants. Yeah. He just wanted to be around the Father. Yeah. He missed the fellowship. He missed the food. He missed the Father. And the mom. he missed the fellowship. Ain't it good whenever you're around mom and dad and everything's on good terms? And when you can just sit down and talk with them and just fellowship with them. That's one of the best things ever. And he loved it. Because um, he, uh, he was listening to different music and fellowship was sweet and his friends were different and Everything was sweeter once he came back home. He missed it. Out in this world, you won't find that same kind of fellowship that you have here in the church. You won't find it. You can't find it at a ball game. You can't find it at any community center, at school, nowhere. Nowhere can you get this amount of people and all of them to agree on the same thing. That's his life. I mean, no one. I mean, yeah. So... Praise the Lord for church. Amen. Amen. There ain't nothing like good fellowship here in church. Amen. Amen. And then, let's see. The next thing I saw that he missed was, he missed King Phil. In verse 16, he said, the fame would have filled his belly. <laughs> so he missed the feeling that he got from church, and that he got from mom and dad, and that he got from being around the things of God and the word of God. He missed it. 
Um, when you get out of the, get out and into this old world and just start ingesting all that this world has to offer, it just ain't the same. You won't. It's just not the same. Um, he was tired of the world stealing. You know, the world gave him all they had to offer. He spent all his living on Bob Wright's living. And so, but it just wasn't the same. You can't compare. Sin has pleasure for a season, but after that season ends, you know, the way to the sin is death. Yeah. And so, but he missed the he missed the filling. You hear good God from filling, you get filled up the preaching, the singing, all that this great church has to offer. We have a Bible coming up in a week. Man, that'll be a good chance to get filled, get your heart back up to the Lord. And so, but he wanted to be filled. And the last thing I saw that he missed was he missed the farm. Verse 20, and he arose and came to his father. The last thing that that boy missed whenever he came home was he missed the old homestead. He missed the farm. So he came home, and I had two ways of looking at this. I mean, down on this earth, coming back to church, you can miss all you want. You can miss the church all you want out in the world. But until you come back, it ain't going to happen. You ain't going to be satisfied. Until you actually arise and come back to the Father, you ain't going to be satisfied. You can miss it, you can think about it, you can dwell in it all you want. But until you actually get back and come to the Father, it just won't satisfy. But then the second thing I had is, I'm headed for my home in heaven. So if you notice that the Father came and ran out and missed him. So I like to think of that as, you know, we're on the road back home. And waiting for the rapture. The rapture would be like, Father, come and run and get us before we get home. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to the Lord coming back. I'm headed for my home in heaven. I'm headed to the Father. Headed for my home in heaven. But if the Father catches me before then, then amen. Amen.